Good evening, my dear friends. I would like to express my gratitude to Julia Kinji, curator of the MoMA Museum, to Professor Michael Finn on that, and to Stefan Benedict, a unique art collector of this uh, exhibition in this play. I am very happy to have you here, the Ambassador John Shinkaris, for the first time. And I want to present our Ambassador to the United Nations. <laughs> and now the coordinator of this project, Ravesh Trifan. I'm here. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Today is a very special <coughs> event. Uh, as you already know, we have uh, very distinguished guests over here. Uh, Julia Kinching is a curator and a university professor here in New York. In New York. She's uh, a curator at uh, the Museum of Modern Art in New York uh, in the Department of Architecture and Design. It's not the first time where she, when she's joining us, so uh, we are absolutely delighted to accept our invitation. Professor Michael, Michael Finkenthal uh, studied in Romania and Israel where he was a professor of physics at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And since 2005, he is uh, a professor of astrophysics at John Hopkins University in Baltimore, in the United States. Beyond the research in physics, he has a strong interest in humanities, in particular complexity studies and theoretical interdisciplinary existential philosophy and its relationship to avant-garde artistic and literary movements. He published in English a number of books on the ancient topics. And uh, Mr. Stefan Benedict, he is um, the owner of this beautiful exhibit, You Can Admire Plant at our institute. Uh, Mr. Benedict studied uh, civil engineering and uh, civil and industrial construction in Bucharest, Romania. He also holds a master's degree in uh, structural design from Polytechnic University in Brooklyn. He worked as project engineer for private companies and here in New York for the Department of Transportation and Department of Projects and Construction. As a journalist, he wrote in several uh, newspapers and uh, journals here in the world. But probably the most uh, interesting uh, detail uh, in his biography is the fact that he is a passionate art collector. Uh, he is a member of several museums in New York and a frequent visitor of the art galleries. Thank you very much. I think there's a real vitality at the moment which you can feel 
in the biennial of art there and in the reborn museum of uh, contemporary art that we've heard about also here in the uh, institute from young curators who are doing really wonderful work. And at the Museum of Modern Art here, we've recently, we've, we're tracking various young Romanian artists and we recently acquired a really compelling um, video piece by a young artist, Nisia Cantor, and have been in acquiring also some extraordinary works of uh, artists and designers from the 1960s and 70s. I had the great honor to speak here introducing the exhibition with Clara Tamash, and we acquired two of her wonderful film posters for our permanent collection uh, following that exhibition. And at the moment, if any of you do go to MoMA, you'll see in the main exhibition gallery on the sixth floor, we have a show called Transmissions, uh, art from Eastern Europe and Latin America from the 1960s and 70s. And um, in that work, you'll see some of the Romanian work we have recently acquired. Yes, and uh, Geta Grantescu. Geta Grantescu, yes. That's obviously a different era from that of Yanku. But I think it, the kind of art that has come from Romania throughout the 20th century is tinged with the same powerful lyrical expression, um, often with a dark and rather surreal undertow. And yes. uh, you, you find also that you have artists transversing different media. Uh, you find the same artists working with textiles, photography, film, or perhaps architecture and illustration. And I think gradually American audiences are becoming more aware of the vital contribution uh, of Romanian, um, Romanian artists. And I think this exhibition and the publicity, hopefully, that is engendered around the, the centennial will bring new generations to admire the work of um, Yansu. From the start, um, MoMA has been about searching for modern artistic expression and innovation in all forms and in it, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary forms. And as a curator in architecture and design, I'm always looking for those moments of synergy, of convergence, um, that allow us to highlight uh, the, the aesthetic, the historical, the theoretical affinities of, of architecture and design with other media. And that's partly why I, and perhaps partly why Stefan too, is, is so drawn to Yansu. Whether you find him making costumes for a Dada's performance during the First World War in Zurich, or creating these uh, surrealist masks and, and drawings, sketching his wickedly observant cartoons, um, designing cubistic or constructivist graphics, and drawing these sensual and expressionist um, evocations of day-to-day -day scenes. Uh, or indeed uh, producing magazines or book illustrations or even designing a master plan for a city and designing villas in Bucharest uh, in, in a very modernist architectural style. He was in the thick of it. He was in the thick of it from the moment he started developing his unique forms of expression. And he clearly had a compulsive need or desire to express himself through whatever format um, or, or, or means that presented itself, whether that was writing or through these very beautiful uh, watercolors and illustrations um, uh, that you see around the walls here. In the MoMA collection, we have two 
very boisterous, useful pieces from 1915-1916, um, very much from his Dada's phase in, in Zurich, in, when he was living in a world turned upside down, and with his um, friends and brothers uh, fending largely for him himself. And one of them is an evocation, is, is a drawing, a beautiful watercolour drawing of a, a street band. And you can actually hear the band in these fragmented, uh, dissonant forms. But even in this abstract composition, and I think even in the most abstract looking pieces here, you still find traces of um, figures or of this observation of um, real forms and day-to-day <coughs> -day life. But even in this most Dadaist piece, you can also uh, already see this sensual appreciation of color that comes right through his art um, into the post-war period as well. The second uh, book, which was the first Dada book, and also Yangtze's first book, uh, which is in the MoMA collection, uh, La Première Aventure Céleste, is also full of the most kind of dislocated, fractured forms. <coughs> but there have, even at its most fractured, there are these overlays of color which unify and structure uh, the images. And again, that tension between the more constructivist um, and, and, and cubistic form of expression, the tension between that and the more dreamy or expressionist forms of expression run throughout his work. In, in, this, in this book, there's a Dadaist conversation which he illustrates with these wonderful lining cuts, with characters talking uh, a lot of nonsense a lot of the time. Mr. Shriek Shriek, Mr. Blue Blue, um, a pregnant woman, Mr. Bang Bang, uh, and Sarah, his uh, compatriot, actually uh, wrote in on one of the pages, Dada is our intensity. Dada remains an European frame of weaknesses. It is nevertheless shit. But henceforward, we want to to shit in diverse colours, to decorate the artistic zoom with the flags of every consulate. I mean, this, this heady kind of youthful um, enthusiasm, you can see how it couldn't really be su sustained. Uh, but I think it also goes back to Yatsu's experience in Bucharest with Sarah before he traveled to Zurich, when he was involved uh, in another earlier symbolist uh, literary journal, Symbol, in the 1910s. So he was very interested in that kind of avant-garde magazine uh, format. And when he returned to Bucharest, to a very different kind of Bucharest uh, in 1921, you, you can see how important that was as the crucible of his sensibility. He said, you know, I was born into beautiful Romania, into a family of well-to-do people. I had the fortune of being educated in a climate of freedom and spiritual enlightenment. My mother possessing a genuine musical talent, and my father a stern man and industrious merchant had created conditions favorable for the developing of all my aptitudes. So I think what comes to the fore at that point, and what's so fascinating for me, being focused on architecture and design, is that constructive, practical impulse um, when really the war had created uh, the, what well, it had rendered the old order obsolete. And at that time, really, uh, Romania emerges as a confident, vibrant, and, and 
Bucharest as a cosmopolitan um, center. And that's really borne out by a huge range of these government and uh, civic uh, projects encouraging uh, developments in, in education, in, in publications, and this massive modern plan, the whole distinctive character of uh, Bucharest in the 1920s and 30s is linked with the emerging uh, modernist uh, character of, of the architecture. And of course, Yang Kyu was actually at the, the center of this uh, with the avant-garde journal uh, Contemporan Contemporanual, uh, Contemporary Man. I'm sorry for my appalling pronunciation. Um, but there was a sense of emancipation, emancipation in the way he was writing about uh, this new urban planning, a new architecture, building quite literally what he described as the soul of a new civilization. Uh, so, in 1941, of course, he, he emigrated, and it was a, a traumatic um, exit, in, in, indeed, uh, to British Palestine, as it was then, uh, and an experience which he uh, documented in, in several of the artworks we see here. But I think this, this pattern of migrations and new starts is one increasingly familiar to, to all of us now, and it has a particular resonance at the moment. And what is clear is that uh, his creative life force and energy was undiminished. Uh, he'd, his, if, we, if we think back, his 1916 book that I was talking about, the one that's at MoMA, that in 1916 was sent to Duchamp and really introduced Dada to an American audience. Uh, of course, America really began and New York, in particular, began to take off as a major art center, as a magnet for contemporary um, art.